Our top story tonight, students in the district head back to school in less than two weeks. And while parents may be getting their kids ready, some city officials worry school buildings won't be prepared. Marielle Carbone is covering this for us tonight. Yeah, Marielle, a big problem. A lot of schools is air conditioning. Yeah, that's right. And here at McFarland Middle School, several classrooms spanning from the boys locker room to the cafeteria all have work orders in that are open right now for their HVAC cooling systems, meaning they're not working. And this school here, it is not the only one that has problems like this. It is why the district's Department of General Services is getting some backlash tonight from city leaders. It's almost back to school time in the district, but some schools are more or less ready for students and staff to return. Some are far from ready. Council member at large Robert White is one of several district leaders touring DC public schools ahead of the August 29th start date. What he's seeing HVAC issues, leak issues, electrical issues, and in, in addition to a number of minor issues. These photos are from inside Henley Elementary School and show a leak in the boiler room and a broken toilet. Other council members, including Elisa Silverman and Janice Lewis George shared similar photos from school tours like these posts on Twitter from McFarland Middle School. I'm concerned about whether or not uh, the Department of General Services will be able to fix all of the outstanding issues, especially the major ones before students and, and teachers return. According to the DGS's HVAC dashboard, more than 100 of the 117 school facilities have open work orders, which range from cooling issues to heating or service issues. And while some schools may only have one work order in one classroom open, others like Deal Middle School have more than a dozen open. I think we saw the worst case scenario last year, and my hope is that we don't see a repeat of that. There were a significant number of schools across the city that didn't have working HVAC, so students and staff were insanely hot uh, and uncomfortable. We reached out to DGS for comment and questions about why some work orders will take so long to fix, but did not hear back. And many of these work orders that we're seeing in our school visits are work orders that had been open months and sometimes years. There's no excuse for that. And White says that DGS was supposed to come out on one of his tours with him today. The agency did not end up doing that, which he calls disappointing. But he does say that next week he's supposed to meet with the agency as well as members from D.C. public schools to talk about where some of these work orders stand and what the status is. And Marielle, you also talked to parents and this isn't the only issue. There are others as well. Yeah, in fact, I was talking to parents in several neighborhoods and they were saying what's more of a concern than some of the facility issues is things like vaccinations and the requirement to have the COVID-19 vaccine. Another parent was also telling me safety is a bigger concern. They want to know that when their child is walking to or from school that they're not going to be shot or harmed with any of the other violence that we're seeing right now in the city. So that's where their heads are at tonight. All right, Marielle, thank you. So later this week, you can have your voices heard. You can join D.C. Public School Chancellor Louis Freebie and DCPS leaders for a back to school town hall. It's happening this Thursday, starting at 5 p.m. over Facebook Live. Now, you are asked to register in advance, so make sure you do that. And leaders will address important updates on things like student vaccines, health and safety, attendance and more.